More fallout today following the Ashley Madison computer hack. Noel Biederman, the CEO of the cheating website's parent company, is stepping down. Avid Life Media released a statement saying the split was mutual and that his resignation is effective immediately. Until a new CEO is named, the company will be led by its existing senior management team. All of this comes on the heels of a huge hack at Ashley Madison that exposed millions of its customers' personal information. In May, Ashley Madison's success was peaking and it was getting to launch an IPO. Then CEO Noel Biederman appeared here on CBSN to discuss the success of the adultery site. So basically, you've created this company to help spouses cheat on <laughs> their spouse. Yes. Does it bother you at all that you're wrecking families in the process and hurting spouses and children? I think you have to look at the other side of the equation. What if people are having affairs to stay married? What if they love their children, their partner, their extended family, their economic situation? They're struggling with one element, which is monogamy. So what if they don't want to leave, but want to break with monogamy? I think people unfortunately stray long before we create Ashley Madison. And so there's a lot of shooting the messenger, but we're just, you know, fulfilling a void that exists in the marketplace. But does it bother you on a it moral not. level? It I, you can't convince anyone to have an affair. You just can't. I don't have that power of persuasion. And no, are your parents happily married? They are, yes. And what do they think of this? You know, the joke I like to say is I used to be an attorney, so my mom's finally proud of the work that I do. <laughs> but, but, but in all honesty, you know, it was a difficult discussion with my wife, you know, at the time, with my family and everybody, and I had to say to them, I want to leave this career path and start a new one. I want to help people all over the world cheat. And people thought I was crazy. But I really saw that the market was underserviced. The amount of infidelity in society is way more prevalent than we realize. And so I knew I could build a business on it. I never realized it would be this big. I really genuinely didn't, but it has become that big. Well, since you mentioned your wife, you say that a new baby in the family is a prime time for spouses to cheat. You have kids. Is that what you did to your wife? Did, have you ever cheated? <laughs> it's not about me saying, first of all, right? I think what's really interesting, again, is as a, an outcropping of the creation of Ashley Masson is the collection of the big data that we have. You know, 35,000 people a day sign up to Ashley Masson. They self-publish what brought them here at the genesis of their affair. If you look at any research prior to the creation of this kind of service by any anthropologist or sociologist, they would tell you, we studied 70 people looking to have affairs. We studied people after the fact. It was very raw data and so we're really telling you this is what happens mm -hmm. and so it's not a seven-year age yes men look to stray three to four years into a marriage it coincides very directly with that first child on the scene